friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a heart cataract nuclear sclerosis is about grade 5 let us observe this surgery the main incision is being placed to the 2.8 mm keratome at the middle of the limbus at around 11 o'clock and now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port the left side of the main incision now I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye and I usually do that underneath an air bubble this is the tripe and blue dye and now I am injecting little bit of adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates little more. The pupil has dilated about 6.5 millimeter and after administration of adrenaline the pupil has dilated to about 8 millimeter. And now Viscoplastic substance 2% HPMC is injected and the antechamber is filled up with this visco. And now capsular axis. A 26 case bay needle is taken, the anticapsule is incised and a large capsular tag is raised. Now I use uterata forceps. I hold this tag, go anticlockwise and I lift the anterior lip of the main incision so that leakage of visco is minimized and to get a large rexis I go almost along the margin of the pupil and this has been a rexis of about 6 millimeter size and now hydrodissection small alicots of VSS is injected at multiple points the nucleus is balloted and the nucleus is mobilized Pisco again 2% SPMC and now the deep of the FECO handpiece has been exposed little more so that I can do direct job in this case and this is what I call submarine chop. The nucleus is pushed little downward and the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, moves through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two halves. It is rotated on 180 degree so that the two heminuclei separate completely from each other yes and now each heminucleus is subdivided again the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus goes near the equator and then the chopper is used to divide it this has been a complete division now it is rotated again 180 degree and the other heminucleus is again chopped. This is a slow surgery and you can follow each and every step very easily. Visco again and now the exposure of the FECO needle is decreased for emulsification of nuclear fragments because if the exposure is more the risk of posterior capsular rent is more and now see how the pieces are being emulsified each nuclear fragment is tilted and the apex of each nuclear fragment is approached by the FECO needle and it is started emulsification is started 
Fikupa used for direct chop and emulsification. The setting is same. The power in this case is 80%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Caterix 3 FICO machine. Microscope is OMS 800 from Topcon. And now this is the other two pieces, the other hemineucleus. It is tilted again and the apex is approached and the apex is attacked first and slowly taking care of the anterior chamber stability the pieces are emulsified this is the last piece and we must be extremely careful during emulsification of the last piece most of the rents PC rents occur at this stage during emulsification of the last piece it has been subdivided the tip is never fully occluded at this time and the antechamber is nicely formed for emulsification of the last fragment the chopper has been removed One small nuclear fragment is near the left sideboard. Before we remove the cortical matter, we must take care of this fragment. We must remove this small nuclear piece first. Otherwise, it may get lost somewhere under the iris and it may be very difficult to remove. So I squat it out with the help of this Simco cannula and now I start removing the cortical matter. The cortex is sticky it's and so I bring it out and flush out. So this is the cortical cleanup is in progress. We can clean the cortex by bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration. Whatever works well in your hand, please use that. I am planning to get a coaxial irrigation quickly and probably by next month I'll be using that. So cortical cleanup has been very satisfactory and now small bit of cortex is still there sub incisional and it has come out. And now, uh, hydrophobic acrylic monofocal single piece intraocular lens is to be implanted in this case. Before that, with this instrument, I'm checking if cortical cleanup is okay all around because the people has constricted to some extent size of the people is about 5 millimeter now and this is the intraocular lens the lens goes into the capsula bag and now the intraocular lens is dialed in such a way that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main incision so that I can easily go behind the eye wheel and remove the visco from the capsular bag. If the haptic, one haptic is just in front of the main incision, it 
becomes difficult to go behind the eye and now cleaning of viscoelastic substance should be very thorough if we have used visco for implantation of intraocular lens if it is hydro implantation we can save this time but if we have used visco for implantation of intraocular lens removal of visco should be very nice in this case bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used for cleaning the visco from the anterior chamber from the posterior chamber from behind the iris and then i use the irrigation only and then go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsula bag very nicely so that all the visco from the capsula bag comes out and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration psc is injected into the stroma inject it towards the scleral side towards the limbal side of this side ports in this way you can decrease the incidence of desmets membrane detachment and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber this is the final lavage i do this in all cases and i believe that this decreases incidence of tears in my cases thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love respect empathy and great surgical competence